going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my Scorpio kisses, I love, love, love you guys. To the moon and back, you know that. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping, what's good. To my newly subscribed, hey y'all. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. This is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Anyway, you got Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your slip, whatever it takes, Scorpio, to stay tapped into the messages like we always do around about this time. If you should see an ad, let it play for a minute or so, so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. Like a personal reading with me, you need to be a part of the members only community. Catch me on the live or when I'm running a special. Every time you donate to the channel, your name goes into a drawing. For a chance to win a free personal reading with me, I do those twice a month. Alright, anything else you need to know is in the description box below. Let's get some messages. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip, switch the roles. You know how I go, Scorpio. Alright, what are the messages here? All right, it says, I can hear your thoughts. Tele telepath. Telepathy. Okay, somebody is trying to tap into your energy here. This is somebody you're deeply connected to, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. Somebody who misses you immensely. They hear your thoughts, but your thoughts are not about them is what I heard. It says, I lay awake at night thinking about how badly I messed up. Yeah, this is somebody who really fucked up. This is somebody who chose a marriage or chose somebody over you and they're miserable where they're at right now. They're miserable and they're stuck. Narcissist is coming out. Yeah, this person, you know... They really played a dirty game with you and they thought the grass was green on the other side and now they're seeing that they're 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 now with somebody that's more narcissistic than them. Okay? So this person is missing you because they miss the genuosity of you. They miss the essence of you. They miss the fact that you're not like everybody else. But it's too fucking late. It says I'm it says in a karmic connection. Yeah, of course. This person then teamed up with somebody who he was fucking mirroring or who she was mirroring. Mirroring. They chose a karmic connection over you. I feel like you could be this person's twin or their soulmate. Like this person, they chose convenience or they chose easy. Okay? Something they thought would be easier. Something that they thought would be lighter. Something that they thought would be... Um, a personal gain or whatever. No, it turned out to be a karmic situation. Why, bitch? Because you're karmic. This person is karmic. Like, it's by the grace of God they attracted you, Scorpio. And then they want to leave you for somebody else. Okay. It says, I need to be on my own for a while. I can't keep living like this. Yeah. I feel like that's what they're telling this karmic they with. Now they need space. Because this person is trying to find their way back to you. But it's like, don't. It says, I'm at, I'm at peace when I'm with you. Yeah. It, it's, it's like the things that this person gained are not adding up to the equivalent of what they lost in you, Scorpio. Like, they, they really, this person is really seeing that they messed up very, very bad. And they know it's really no come, come back from it. That's why... They're saying they hear your thoughts because you're very connected with this person. And they hear what your energy is saying. Your energy is saying you want nothing to do with their ass. It says I'm making big changes in my life. That's good. Maybe, maybe you know, you do that for yourself. Maybe the next relationship you're in is a better relationship or a better outcome. The thing about this person is they everywhere that they they end up is because of their narcissistic behavior. This person don't understand what goes around, comes around, what you do to others, already done back to you type shit. So this, peop, this person keep operating 
in the capacity that they can keep being low down and dirty to um, people and just keep coming back for reconciliations, keep tapping into people's energy, trying to see where they at with them and all this type of manipulative shit. But this person is saying they're making big changes. I don't know what big changes other than the fact of them divorcing this karmic. But they shouldn't be doing that for Scorpio. They should just be doing that because they're in a karmic connection and it doesn't work. They're, they connected with somebody like them. Just period. Clarify this. I can hear your thoughts, telepathy. You have the seven of cups. This person confused about what they're hearing. They think, it's a, they think it's an illusion that you've moved on and that you're not allowing them access to you anymore. This person is so used to coming back but after they chose somebody else and love is in the reverse, it's like, no, you don't get to come back from that shit. You don't. Like, you you broke the cardinal rule with Scorpio. Yeah, the Queen of Cups in reverse. It's like, what this person's feeling is how you cut off your emotions, how you're not attached to them anymore, how you decided to let bygones be bygones and forgive this person, yeah, justice. It says, I lay awake at night thinking about how badly I messed up. Justice. That's this person's justice. Their karma is their justice. Yeah, the princess of swords in reverse. I feel like they, they linked up with somebody younger than you, but this person is more narcissistic than them. They're more controlling. This person don't want them to go anywhere. They don't want them to be around anybody. And then the eight of cups in reverse. This person is trapped. They don't like it here. They're unhappily married. They're unequally yoked. Even both of them being narcissists, like this one, this one too much. This this one's a whole lot of narcissists. This one is is more narcissist than the person. Like they, and they're getting a dose of their own fucking medicine. That's all it is. It's being replayed to them how they played you. Just period. Clarify this narcissist, and they want you to have empathy or feel sorry for them or accept them back because. They finally decided to make big changes. I'm making big cha changes in my life. You haven't made them yet, though. The chariot is in reverse. This could be somebody who's trying to um, make you believe that, you know, they're headed for divorce because they love you and this didn't work out. No, it's just that this is a karmic connection. You were never supposed to be there. You've never been happy there. And bitch, now you're trying to come back home. You're sniffing, trying to come back, and it's like no return. You did some shit. You had the point of no return. You broke the cardinal rule. Like, if if nothing else, Scorpio ego ain't gonna even let you come back from that shit. Yeah, the Princess of Swords and the King of Wands. Yeah, it's like this person's actions told you everything you needed to know about them, Scorpio. And there's, they get no access to you anymore. The Eight of Cups in reverse, it's like, as soon as this person chose this person over you, went and got married or whatever this is, they realized they fucked up, but it was too late. It was too late. And like I said, the King of Wands, he's showing up upright. This, this could be your counterpart. This could be your twin, but this person is still in that narcissistic energy. They're still in that manipulating you energy, Okay. I don't know why they try to manipulate you and everybody else dog their ass out. Clarify in a karmic connection. Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person is fed up. They're tired of being unhappy. <laughs> they chose wrong and they don't want to fucking admit it. The Nine of Cups coming out in the reverse. This person probably drinking heavy. They're very depressed. This connection has really brought them to a place of destitute. A place of emptiness. Yeah. The three of swords. <laughs> look who hard broke now. Look who bit, look who crying now. This person just getting a, a dose of their own medicine. They getting what they gave you. Except it's way worse. Because they lost you in the process of this. And there's no coming back. There's no bridge back to you. Okay. It says, I need to be on my own for a while. I can't keep living like this. Yeah, they trying to break up now and make their way back to you. And it's like, don't break up with this motherfucker to make your way back to me because you're not coming back to me. Yeah, the princess of pentacles in reverse. The star. And the ace of swords. Just period. This, this person... 
they're not telling their person that they're they're leaving them because you know this shit ain't working and they made a mistake when they left you to come to them. But that's what's going on. They feel like you're their north star. You're their their you're their their main focus. You're how they realign. You're how they get back on track. The ace of swords. You're gonna always be that person that tell them the painful fucking truth. But look at what this person brought bought you through. Look what they took you through. It's like you'll never trust them ever again. So it's just it's like I said, this person is cut off. I guess they just want you to know. It says, I'm at peace when I'm with you. We know. I'm hearing this person was stable. This person, you, you know, it's like they got on their feet. They started some type of career or business here while they were with you. And I just feel like this person got the big head. <laughs> yeah, the three of cups in reverse. They chose somebody else. They thought somebody else was their peace. Yeah, the six of swords. This person moved this person moved in with the third party. This person married the third party. Period. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this person thought they was getting something better. They wanted this new beginning with this person and wanted to throw away all that y'all had because you refused to to continue to let them control you and talk shit to you and be a, a total dick to you. Like, are you fucking serious? The moment you said no is the moment they said yes to this karmic connection here. Clarify this queen of cups in reverse. Yeah, the eight of pentacles and the, and the um, hey man, it's like you changed your mind about this person. When this person, when this person went somewhere else, when they chose somebody else, that ended it for you. Even if this is a, uh, a a twin flame situation, like that ended any feelings that you thought you had towards this person, it was very hurtful how they did you. It really was. And I just feel like to to the outside people looking in, it's almost like he just like went to the store to get some milk and never came fucking back. Like people saw you with this person. And then, boom, they just, you know, they gone. This person is somebody you introduced to your family and every fucking body. Like, yeah, the two of wands. I feel like you plan, you plan some type of future with this person. And when times got tough, they, they got the fuck on. And I feel like, really, be honest with you, I feel like times were tough. When you met this person, you made, you made something happen. You make this person realign, they got their shit together. And as soon as this person got their shit together, they they did. They went somewhere else with with the with the spoil, with the harvest. They took it some it's no way you're taking this person back. It says I lay awake at night thinking about you as you should. As you should. Yeah, the Prince of Cups. Yeah, this person, this person is very put down or let down. This person feels so, you know, you're the love of their life, Scorpio, and they can't have you because they fucked that up. The Seven of Swords in reverse. I keep hearing they broke the cardinal rule. Like, you could have come back from anything except them choosing somebody else over you. It's almost like, what bitch, you gave somebody else your last name before you before me? This could even be your children's father. Yeah, it's like when it like this person would never put a ring on it or, or whatever, and, and and be glad that they didn't, Scorpio. But it, it's it's still that feeling of the two of swords in reverse that you would even choose that person over me to marry. Like I understand you going to sleep with somebody or fuck over me or third party situation, but like you actually put a ring on this shit. And you ain't put a ring on my shit, all, all the shit I've been through, it's that type of energy. It's like as long as you let this person drag you, they drug you. And then when, when they came up, they got the fuck on. And now they won't back in because now they learn they listen that everything that glitter ain't fucking gold. And just because they trade you in for a younger model don't mean it's going to be all peachy clean. Yeah, the four of pentacles. Now this person is wishing they would have held on to you, this narcissist. But there's there's no access, there's no tele telepathy, there's no connection with you and this person anymore. You're the fool, you gone. 
Your feelings left you when this person chose somebody else. Yeah, the seven of wands in reverse. When this person chose somebody else over you, you gave up on that shit. Like, you, you wouldn't want to be running nobody down when they already made their choice to be with somebody else. Like, this this was painful. This was a painful breakup. This felt this felt like some backstabbing, old, low-down, undercut shit. You might have even knew this person. That they left you for. This could have been somebody in your family or a close friend or something. Clarify in a situation. In a karmic situation. Yo, this person is fucked up and heartbroken. Now they can't. This person, they're not having sex. They, he, this person don't want to have sex. With this person. that That's something else that wasn't so enduring. After they... After they left you and went to them, it's like the sex got fucked up. It wasn't no chemistry no more. These people weren't able to talk and communicate and connect like they've been connecting. Yeah, judgment. Judgment was called upon this connection. Anyway, this person was your person's karma. It was time for their ass to go, to let you go anyway. You're the hermit. It was time for them to, to choose something else. Because you and them wasn't working. You couldn't you couldn't be in this you couldn't be in a connection with this person the way they with the way they were when they left you, okay? It says I need to be on my own for a while. It says I can't keep living like this. Yeah, this person, and that's being clarified by the star, the ace of swords, and the princess of pentacles in reverse. This person is tired of living a lie. They realize that when they would were, were with you, that's the only spirit and truth. That they ever experienced. That's the only true love that they ever experienced. This person is realizing a lot of things about y'all connection. Because of the absence of the connection now. Your energy is totally pulled back. They can't feel anything from you. That's why this person is needing to be on their own now. They feel like this is something that can be salvaged. Yeah, but the death card. It can't be salvaged. The eight of wands is in the reverse. You you when you, when I say you cut off all communication with this person, the Ten of Swords, this this person choosing somebody else was just death to y'all's connection. Period. I don't care if they are a twin flame. You you never take them back in this life. Like just on some serious shit. That was too much. And now they coming back saying this person wasn't wasn't their person. It's that's it's even double hurtful. Telling you this didn't mean anything. It says, I'm at peace when I'm with you. Now this person is not at peace. They're not at peace with the karmic. They're not at peace with you because you won't allow them in your space anymore. This person is trapped. They may even, if depending on what changes they made, they may even decide to stay with this karmic connection and try to make it work, but they didn't try to make you work. Yeah, the eight of swords here. This person is really trapped. <laughs> they feel trapped. They feel stuck as fuck, like I said in the beginning. Yeah, the two of cups in reverse. I don't know if they already, always knew that this wasn't a person. Yeah, the seven of pentacles in reverse. They want a divorce now. They're not, they're not contributing to this anymore. They want you back. They want out of this marriage or this connection. I feel like they moved out or something. They whatever this is, they they had to have some type of release of this connection immediately in order to make them feel like they can be connected back to you or that this person feels like they have to completely stop cut this person off divorce them before they're able to connect with you again. And that's what's bringing about all these big changes. This person is not feeling your energy. They're not able to connect with you. Telepathic telepathically anymore. They're not able to reach you. You're, you're on a whole nother frequency now. That's what they don't understand. But they do know that they're at peace when they're with you. They knew that before they left. But they thought it was going to be better where they was going. You're the five of pentacles. Now they feel ostracized. Alone. Lonely. Like they, lo they lost you totally. You're the three of wands. This person knows they have no future with you. They know you put them on ice. Yeah, the ace of wands in reverse. This person wants a passionate new beginning with you, but it won't happen. Yeah, the six of cups. Somebody who from your past. 
Yeah, the king of cups in reverse. This person is still non-committal because they still marry, and there you are, the empress. It's like you're not you're not selling it for mediocre anymore. And on the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the devil. This person is obsessed with you. They always have been. This person just thought that what they were doing, how they were moving, was the right decision at the time because this person was not healed. This person was dealing with a lot of issues. And I feel like you dealt with every single one of them, Scorpio. And then here they go choosing somebody else. It's like, yeah, no, nah, we good. I'm good on you. You should be good on me. Like, we just good. Call it truce. Just like he calling the quits right here because he know this isn't his person. You did the same fucking shit because you just know whoever your person is, they wouldn't dare have treated you with so much disrespect and dishonor. Like, seriously. You were too good to this person, Scorpio. Nobody can believe how this person did you. It's like, I'm telling you, it, you was literally like, at a, at, like say for instance, at a, a family cookout just last Saturday. And then it's like now, Saturday, a week from that Saturday, they see you with, with another bitch hand in hand. Like you really clown Scorpio with this stupid shit. You clown the fucking empress and you want to come back and do what? Like, right, boy. Girl, you ragged as fuck. Just period. You deserve not to be happy over there. You deserve, both of y'all deserve each other. Like, that's what I'm getting to y'all. Weigh each other fucking out with insecurities, validations, mean words, like, no compliments, no date nights. Like, y'all bitches just, that, that whole thing. This person, they know that it's no peace here. I feel like that started as soon as they got with this person, they didn't have peace. For one, they was wondering about what's going on with you. But I feel like I feel like Scorpio, you had kind of like this open portal with this person where they were, where you were able to maybe you didn't let them go at first. Or maybe you just left the, the access open for this person on some type of energy level because of how they hurted you. You you probably wanted to kind of Pick apart their brain and see what their energy is. But not anymore. I feel like you're somewhere happy or content, you know, with this, with a new connection. And I feel like you don't want anything to do with this person, like, at all, period. And they know it. They got to feel this shit. What's the additional messages? How does this person truly feel? What are they hiding? What do they truly feel about Scorpio? There's true feelings here for Scorpio. What's their true feelings here? Alright. So. On the bottom of the deck, it says, how can I help you? <laughs> I'm telling this this person, they just all full of help encouragement and all type of shit now now that this shit that they they chose over you squashed abundance is here it says you've done the work abundance flows to you it says i never used to look at you in that way mm. i feel like this person just kind of sitting back reminiscing about how they did you, how abundant they were when they were with you. Because I feel like this person, you help this person get stable. Because that's what it feels like. It feels like they think they thought that they upgraded with whoever this person was. Maybe they were younger than you or something like that. But they, they looked at this as an upgrade. It says, I hope I will see you again sometime. Time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. Yeah. <laughs> This person just left you over like overnight, literally. It says, I'm I I am with you all the time. Yeah, see, this person used to be with you all the time. They used to be able to tap in and out of your energy. It's not happening anymore. Willie's not able to pull on your energy no fucking more, just period. It says, I see all that you do for others. Yeah. This person, you did a lot for them. That's that's what I'm saying. Like you you brought this person. This person when you when you met them, they were in need. 
And not only did you help them meet their needs, but you really polished this person. You got this person to a point where they was functional. You feel me? It says I live my life through you. What I said, you made their life functional. And then once they thought, you know, that they got a little up, a little level up or, or whatever, or somebody, whoever this younger person is, younger woman, a male paying them this attention. Oh, they, 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 they looking for validation anyway. You're telling them they need to heal. They're looking for somebody telling them they're great. And that's what this person did because they're a narcissist too. It says, I don't know how to let you go. You don't have to Scorpio is letting you go. It says you and I were too young. I was uncomfortable showing emotion. See, this person dealing with a lot and they still dealing with it. Retreat time alone or in nature will help recharge you. Yeah, I feel like it, it took God a minute to, to get you back aligned after this shit. Like, this was embarrassing. It was hurtful. I mean, this shit was a lot of shit. A lot of things wrapped up in one. It says, I love myself enough to walk away. See, now this person, they, they're speaking like they healed. They love themselves enough to walk away from this shit, but they didn't love you enough to stay. They walked away from you. So I feel like this person don't know what the fuck they got going on. It says chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. And that made me, like y'all maybe had a very strong sexual attraction to each other in this connection here. This person is reminiscing about everything that has to do with y'all and what y'all, you know, how y'all communicated in this connection. This person wants to take you somewhere. They want to just like go off somewhere with you. It says we will be together again. This person seriously thinks that. It says the timing just wasn't right. It says, I'm sorry I left while you were young. I feel like he left you for somebody young. And then patience, everything will unfold in divine timing. And it did. And that's exactly what happened. It, it unfolded. This person showed you who they were and you believed it and you hurt and you pained and you moved forward. What are the additional messages here for Scorpio? Yeah, this was... I, I, I just feel like this was painful. I felt like either you really cared about this person or they just did you so fucked up. Like, you couldn't believe somebody you did so much for could have left you to die like that. And they did. And now they're back. They want to do it again. What's the messages? Or they want you to take that chance. Like the way this person did you, ghosts ain't the fucking word. They 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 like they embarrassed you, they humiliated you, and they trade you to, traded you in for something that they thought people would look at and say, oh yeah, that's way better than Scorpio. Yeah, the overall energy is dark magic shit, cursing or hexing. When this person did you like they did you, they hex themselves, they curse themselves, they curse them, their life. <laughs> their their um love life for sure is cursed okay so fake opportunists watching others to see what they can take to make it as their own unwanted watcher yeah this person now now they I told you they obsessed with you the devil this person is obsessed 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 keeping up with you through a fake account Financial loss, unexpected money loss from their intentions. This person has an underactive sacral. Their lack of creativity and originality is making them jealous of you. They have an overactive root, closed-minded. It's their way or no way. That's the narcissistic personality traits. Red flags, the signs are in front of you and are cautioning you. Yeah. Yeah. Higher power, the universe is handling it right now. Pay attention to the signs to see what must be done next. And damage, they move, they have major holes in their aura, yeah. It's like, once you let go of the love part with this person after they betrayed you and did you how they did, you realize this person is damaged. This, what, this, what this karmic connection was offering them was validation, was a break. This person, would, they felt like this was a retreat, like it was a break away from... Like being a responsible adult, somebody telling you your ass tore up and you need to straighten it. It goes from you critiquing this person to somebody telling them lies. 
somebody telling them what they want to hear. All right, Scorpio, that's your reading. If you still with me, like, subscribe, share, let those ads play, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you, Scorpio.